welcome and welcome back to our channel. So I got some new gear that I've been pretty much testing out for the last month. I think I got it in late November. So all of this summer I've been testing out this new gear, okay? So first I'm gonna start with the knee pads. Now, these are the old ones that I used to have. Um, these are the Titan, Fox Racing Titan knee pads and it retail for $19.95 from Cycle Gear. Now, um, they don't come in pink. I think they do now, but back then they didn't. But they come with gray. I just colored it. But the reason why I wanted to upgrade was because there's only two straps, right? So once you put it on, and they tell you the orientation of the knee too. If they're not under your jeans, they flap forward. And it's like, you never know, because like maybe in like an accident or something, this may catch forward. So let's, um, so like for guys, you guys, jeans are usually baggier, so this can slide under your, um, your jeans a lot easier. But for girls, like I used to wear fitted stuff, it's not gonna look right under. So over, I wouldn't recommend, but definitely um, under, okay? And it's just two vocal straps. <laughs> so the upgrade, these are the um, same brand, Fox Racing Titan, but these are the pro knee pads, and they articulate, so they bend with you. Um, everything is like cushion. They have this gel pad, I don't know what to call it, but these have three straps. And once you adjust it, like your size, let me get closer. Ooh. Once you adjust the straps, you have these uh, locking things, so you don't have to keep trying to figure out how big you are. <laughs> but uh, you just snap it in like that, boom. Make it quick and easy. And like I said, they all have their orientation, like this one says left, so you don't get confused. But these definitely I recommend for over your pants because they're a lot bulkier. They're not as um, sleek and slim fit as the other ones. And I colored these as well, y'all. <laughs> they came gray. Okay. And these offer a lot more protection. They go all the way down to, if you wear um, racing boots, it'll be under your racing boot. But if you wear like over the ankle boots, it'll be, it'll be right there on top. So the protection compared to this, I don't know if this is a kid size or what. I don't know, but see, this is on my knee. You still have a lot more coverage. And then I'll show you. I'm a little, oh, my shoe. On the 250. <laughs> so once you sit, like it bends with you. It doesn't ever like slide down. Well, it doesn't fit now because I, I usually wear jeans and jeans are a lot less slick. <laughs> But it, you know, it, it stays with you, it articulates with your knees. So it's a lot more natural. Um, I forget that they're on. They're light, <laughs> they're usually quiet. Um, walking in them isn't trouble at all. And I don't feel myself like scraping the, um, the bike or anything. But yeah, so these are definitely an upgrade at being $74. Um, I always pay money for protection, right? But the thing is, you can't replace your knees. It's one of those things like, once you break your knee, it's hard to uh, have that same mobility, like if you were to break your leg or something. So something that can really stay on your knee and be very protective, because if you slide with this, even though it's like on your thigh a little bit, you have like a better chance of not hurting yourself as much. So, and road rash, you're not gonna have any road rash right here. So I would definitely recommend these uh, 100 times over versus the uh, the other ones. But if you want a more low profile look, uh, then I would recommend the other ones if you wanna just wear it under your pants. All right, the second thing I got, which you guys saw on our Instagram page, is the Viking Cycle Freedom Textile Jacket. Now, I wanted an inexpensive jacket for the winter. Um, it doesn't really get that cold in LA, but sometimes, like, because I ride to work in the morning, 
it's about 40 degrees sometimes you know but it's not really dropping below that and I didn't want to keep taking the liner in and out of my other jacket I'd rather just have that one for summer and then this one for uh, winter specifically now this jacket is only $55 like <laughs> now y'all know that's 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 very affordable because jackets run 150 and up easily um it's a lot heavier than all of my other jackets the lining is a lot thicker um this one actually has padding like a really thick padding in the back and shoulders and what my other jacket didn't have is the side shoulder it kind of just stopped like here but this one actually comes down a little bit and then of course it has the elbow and the elbow ones are a lot longer too than my other jacket my elbow and my the elbow pad of my other jacket just stopped here this one comes down pretty low this is where it stops and this is where your hand goes so <laughs> so this is adjustable um it has tons and tons of pockets actually so you have your cell phone pocket and i think you can feed your um what is it called the earphones to your jacket and the outside pocket it's a little small like i can't fit my whole hand in there but the thing i do like about it is it has a leash so usually i'll clip my keys to here that way you know if you're reaching it and not your pocket you're not dropping your keys so this is one feature i do use and i do enjoy so i just you know put it in there zip it up don't worry about losing my keys um it's adjustable in the back too so depending how your back is shaped if you want a little bit more cinched look then you can customize it to your body um as far as wearing it for strictly winter if you guys have a real winter like anything below 45 um this may not be the jacket for you because it does let air in i usually wear like a jacket underneath and i'm fine but as far as like if it's snowing if it's like really really windy really chill then i would say buckle up i mean like pack on the layers underneath which you should anyways but it's not a complete airtight type of jacket like it's not going to give you like that leather block out but for the summer if you take this lining off you're going to feel all the breeze <laughs> like when you go it's it's going to be really breezy but yeah oh, it feels so soft like not silk but it feels soft and it just feels comfortable and i have a wide back so i usually um have trouble fitting like my arms and my back into jackets but i can do this no problem and i did get a size large um my back is usually too big for medium but yeah i'll uh fits really really well like i said i ride a super sport so i can lean forward without a problem and it comes up pretty high too so you don't get um any wind on your neck it comes up pretty high like i said the padding comes all the way down so yeah i would definitely recommend this jacket i'm not gonna say it as a beginner jacket but it's definitely somewhere to start without spending you know an arm and a leg hi Kevin. <laughs> Without spinning an arm and a leg for a jacket. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the inside pocket. So this is the Note 10. So you know it's a big phone. And it fits the whole thing. No problem. I just wish the outside pocket is just as big as the inside pocket. Because I can't put my hand in here. This is as far as my hand goes. But the inside pocket is freaking huge if you can fit my phone. So if you like big phones like me, then you know it'll fit no problem. And this pocket is on both sides. Um, they do have other types of jackets, but if all the other jackets are like this, it's like really well built. Everything's adjustable. So yeah, I definitely am happy with this purchase and I would definitely recommend to you guys. So let me know what knee pads you guys like or do you like that style of knee pad? Um, comment down below and tell me what you think about this Viking jacket. I think it's 
pretty affordable. It feels like good quality. It feels heavy duty. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, all the threading and stuff is like on point. And I like that you can tailor it to your body so that you're not, you know, boxy or whatever. Like, even though it's red, you know I'm still a girl. <laughs> it doesn't look boxy. It's actually really comfortable and warm. And it's so soft. Like, you don't have to wear something, like, not to be naked, but if you didn't wear anything under here, you would still be fine. Like, it will still feel good on your skin. And that's what I do. Like, um, let's see. I like the collar. It's a little rough in the back, like the top, top part. But, I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's just not as soft as the inside. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think about these jackets and the price point of everything. Um, I try to review gear that's affordable to everyone. I know we're not all here out all here balling and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's definitely good to have a company that's affordable as well as quality. Um, so yeah, so if you like this, leave us a thumbs up. Um, we're still on our road to 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. Make sure you follow us, follow us on Instagram. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>